Hi guys. Well, now that Easter's over and we can all put our noses back down to the grindstone, here we go. And when this is our grindstone, you all get no complaint from me because I absolutely love working on these journals. Today I was working on these mini file folders. This is what I plan to put in it. Um, these mini file folders. And I did a little, I did it a little different for each one just because I think each one should be its original in a copycat version. <laughs> okay, maybe that doesn't make as much sense out loud, but, <laughs> but I did decide uh, to do each one a little bit different. And part of the reason is, I think it's this one. This is the one I did closest to the closure that Margaret did from Seven Plaza which is where this is a copycat of. This is totally her design. Uh, I only change it when I make a mistake, can't do it, don't have it, something to that effect. Otherwise, she was the mastermind behind this. So I will try to link her channel and go watch her if you already haven't, which I know many of you have because that's how you found me. She gave me a shout out. And I totally appreciate it so much. Thank you, Margaret. Okay, let's get let's get to work. This is the one I made. And I did it. She did a, a bow closure thing with with eyelets. And I loved it and I think it's absolutely gorgeous, which is why I did one of my like hers i didn't do my things quite as as long hers are a little longer but i don't know i just didn't do them quite as long and you she took her string and put it together and tied it in a bow if you've watched more than one of my videos i've complained about how i can't tie bows. I can. I can. <laughs> I've always been able to tie my own shoes and all that. It's just over the past couple years, my hands and fingers have gotten worse with just arthritis, age, uh, stuff like that. And I have a really hard time trying to tie a bow. So <clears throat> I only wanted to do that once, torture myself once. The other two are different types of closures. But other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory it's a tiny mini whoop, file folder made of another file folder like we used to make the the journal i dug out another one i did have a die cut that i used to make these but you don't need a die cut i also originally i had some digitals that you cut out and so I printed these digitals and then I cut them out. I was going to use these, but they're a little bit uh, wider, fatter, whatever, higher. Yes, there we go. They're a little higher. And I just felt to, I wanted to stay truer to the look and the cover. So I really felt I needed to just use the file folder so i put this aside and use my die cut but if you don't have a die cut you truly can trace the uh this little i'm not sure what tab i guess trace this tab on if, if you're using a file folder on a file folder and cut out the tab it really it's just folding it in half at that point rounding the edges actually had one here that i semi started because i was going to do one on camera but my cutting skills well i have none so uh but i'm not too sure what i did with that little oh, my here. sorry for the noise guys yes so as you can see i just traced the tab and i think i actually traced this digital, if 
but I'm not entirely sure right now. Um, I just traced the tab. I'm not sure if you can see my pencil mark. And I was going to just cut it out and then fold it, not quite in half, fold it down a little bit. You can fold it in half, but these have where the back is a little higher. So you can do that, make the back a little higher, and then round the ends with your corner rounder or a scissors. It's, it's really that simple. It really is. My explanation was way harder than what it actually is to make if you just trace a tab or make up your own tab. You can even take your a paper punch. What What is this? It's a notch maker. It's a corner rounder and a notch maker. And you can even put your notch maker there, cut it, well, punch it, put your notch maker here and punch it, and then cut out from the notch over, and you'll actually have a reverse not if you cut it out. If you skip the spot, you have the tab. You would cut out from the notch over and from the notch over and the part in the center would be your tab. So don't listen to me. I'm making it too hard. It's actually really simple. But I used my die cut and the die I used was not a Tim Holtz. It was, I bought it from Amazon for like $6.99. And this is the size it makes. And it came with a couple windows, or windows, well, dies to cut windows. These are the ones that I used to cut these windows. So they were kind of different sizes. And I turned them different ways. Okay, anyway, I just decorated very simply, I glued that down, but I did leave it in a little pocket so that I could put tiny things in. And over here, I left this a pocket just because I wanted to. Uh, it's not actually for this big piece. It was for something little. This was going to go inside and close. And then my edges, which or edges, I don't know what I would call these, my closure. I just glued a little bug in there because especially this one is more about the bugs. So put them in. I will say that I did, I'm not sure if you can see that, I scored it and then scored right next to it. So it's a tiny flat. Mm. Uh, a spine kind of but very very thin and I did that because when I just had it plain it just seemed like it was uh wanted to stick up a little bit and not close flat so I scored right next to it like it's not even a measurement it's like a score and a score <laughs> Just enough to, to make it a little, to give it a little room. So the file folder has a, a little room. And I was going to pick, uh, I think I'm, let me make sure I get it in the right, stand in the right way up. I think I will glue it here. I know Margaret had hers, uh, put a pocket behind hers. And she, which I will too, I will put the, the tab sticking up a little bit. I don't want it to interfere too much. I don't want to leave too much room. I know she did a decorative thing down there. I don't know if I have a one that would fit that down that low. So it would be look like that. I'm just trying to decide if I want to glue these on first. Yes. Okay. My decision has been made. I'm going to glue these on first. So I'm going to glue one. Now my art glitter glue here has been giving me fits most of the day. I don't know if it's just, if I just need to clean the tip or what's going on with, with him, but it's just not been very helpful today. I think I wanted it up a little bit higher. Hold on, sorry if I'm out of. I 
think that's that's fine. And this one I will do by eye. No measuring. Hope that I don't regret that. No measuring. Just get that off there. So I don't know how everyone's Easter has been. Mine was really, really nice. I always do the dinner and have the family over. And it was quite nice. So I hope everyone else had a really nice Easter as well. Okay. I am going to, I'm not going to make this a pocket. I just not. So I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. Please don't, don't everyone yell. I'm, I'm not quite as confident that that my my journal is that well thick enough um that it won't get too thick and just not want to present itself as well as if I just put the decorative pieces I want in it and not quite as much worry about quite as many pockets okay take that out for now just put that in there i may i may do a whoop, i may do a stamp in there not sure not sure just wanted to get that glued in and you can see me struggle. I think instead of just, is this, which one's longer? Okay, we're going to go with the longer one. Uh, we're going to definitely go with the longer one. And I think I'm going to put the string in that will match how we put the string in for the, the whole journal. But I'm going to match that and do it here which is loop it around, pull both through, pull it tight. I don't know. I may change this if it's, if it's not going to work out right. I'll just, that way that's always on. I don't pull that out. That's on. Then I take the long one, put it through. And then tie it like that. Here's where you will see how I can't <laughs> boss my fingers around. They do not listen. So I don't know. They get in my own way. You will think I don't know how to tie a bow. I do, and I, I, my kids know how to tie a bow. It's just my fingers don't listen. Okay, that's embarrassing, but it is what it is. Then this I will trim. I'm not going to do that right now, just because I want to make sure. That's how I'm keeping that. This little file folder has no string. It is a Velcro closure. So this one is slightly plainer because I want to be able to fit a little bit more in and I don't want to make the, the Velcro pop. So it it's definitely Velcroed with tiny ones. You can use the slightly bigger ones. I'm always afraid if I use the bigger ones, they'll stick too well. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what I'm afraid of. And this will go the same way. Now with this one, 
I was thinking of making it into a pocket. When Margaret did hers, she actually took a, a little nip out of her file folder to mark it as a pocket. I didn't do that. I didn't do it with any of mine. I did again make um, a slight little thicker <laughs> uh, edge, but that's that's just me. But um, I, I really did want at least one of them to perhaps be a secret pocket. Not that I will put anything in it, but like Margaret says maybe just a, a little secret pocket. So I may. Sh shimmy it down a little bit leaving a slight more room up up this way and um yep that's what we're gonna do okay so all right so this is the side i don't i do not want to glue there so i want to glue here now my glue will probably give me give me some fits yep because i'm squeezing it pretty hard so I'm probably going to have to may have to switch to my other glue but I don't know what it is spring comes it should be getting runny or not not less runny and I almost gave myself a second thought there Okay, make sure I glue right up to the edge, and I like to glue, okay, well, I guess, I guess that's good enough. All right, let's get that down where we're going to keep it. Yep. So that is where, that's exactly where I wanted it. There it is. Velcro and all. Yep. And I bought these little Velcro dots at Walmart in the sewing, by the sewing or closure type area. So, I know they sell them on Amazon too, but. Okay, so that one's in. Let me, let me have a little discussion here with, with, with the glue, give them a little wet for, and we're going to move on. Okay, so this one, I did the money closure, or I'm not sure what they call these closures, but... That's what kind of closure we're having on this one. Okay, so this one, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this. I still, I'm not sure. So, we're putting them aside for now. Um, over here is just a, a tiny bit of a little pocket. Uh, there's nothing here that doesn't do anything. It's not interactive. And there's the front. So, I wanted the... I believe I wanted the string part to go from what I would consider the bottom of the journal and go up. Okay, that's how I wanted it. That's how we're doing it. So let's get these glued on. As long as the glue is going to cooperate. Let's put that down. And start the gluing process. Okay, it's your turn to shine, glue. Let's get it done. Okay, I'm just going to put that on, decide where I want it. Okay, I think I, I think I want it there. That's where I want it. Okay. Glue all over me. And we'll just put the glue on this side now. Okay, let's get close. Maybe a hair. Perfect. 
perfect, right? Perfect. Okay. So again, I'm just going to put the tab up a hair. Is this where I wanted it? I think that moved because I didn't want it on that. I think I'm going to put it here. Yes. Okay, so I want the tab to stick out a little bit. And am I going to put a pocket? Should we put a pocket? Should we? Anyone? Any? Okay, hidden pocket. It is. We're, we're going to go for another hidden pocket, so just let's just do that oh see come on glue I think Margaret calls him art come on art come on okay oh, not too bad art all right Um, did I lose my spot again? And yeah. Gee, my sight. Make sure I'm not gluing him. No, okay. Sticking up. Make sure I can close it. Yep. Okay. There he is. Okay. Make sure that we're okay. I think that's pretty good. Then, okay, anything that has to do with string, my goodness, I'm just all toes. I don't know how I okay, there it is. So that's my that's my three different ways. So you can pick any of the three that you think might work best for you. Any of them, they all work. So I guess it's just me with the bow thing. <laughs> but all right, I just wanted to get that done. Then I'm going to be moving on to the next uh, element in these journals. I'm not sure what it will what it will be. I think it's going to be the a pocket one. So I hope you come join me for that. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Keep crafting. Bye.